hey you welcome to my channel i am camille this is a video prior to my wash day i have i think i waited a bit too long and it's very dead and needs to be alive again so i'm going to show you products that i've used and tried and are true to making my hair look beautiful and voluminous at times but hydrated as well so these are all the six products i will be using on my hair you got a detangling you got a cream you got gels you have a edge control from cantu and a pomade that i i like so let's get started i already did my wash and all that I, sadly, I am using a towel to dry my hair, so my hair is extra dry. But I do make my little tail in the back. And oh, when I add water, detangling with this from Pantene is pretty good. Just enough to do its thing of hydrating and adding that moisture that's there. A little bit of cream, which normally I don't do on my little tail in the back. I always detangle and occasionally you get a knot here and there while you're brushing it happens so i'm gonna split my hair into three parts just behind the behind the ears and the next one is like the crown of the head the top you'll see so it's pretty dry so i drench it with water but not too much water where it's soaking make a mistake and spilling the detailing milk but saving it because not much of it got on the floor then we detangle occasionally you will get a knot but you, you brush through it gently then you get some cream not too much not paying too much attention to the roots always emulsifying these products as well and i always like to scrunch that's like a given and then detangle again trying to emphasize the curls and make them clumpy and then i brush backwards with it as well and because it's going to be in the back i get the inner sense gel stronghold two pumps i believe if not it was three and pray hands but scrunch crunch it in it's I just want the definition there. I don't really care that the curls aren't as defined. My hair is pretty heavy and long. But this gel was pretty cool. It's like slimy. And I apply this to the root area since it's for volume. And I just scrunch it in there. Not really paying attention to the rest of the hair since that was being dealt with from the inner sense gel. So just like above or near my eyebrows is where I'll make it for splitting it into two sections. So this is gonna be the first top section. We're gonna twist that to the side and do that later. Of course, drench my hair with water to the point where you can hear a little bit of the, the squishy sound at the ends. That's when you know it's good, but you don't see your water, the water dripping from your hair. So I smooth on the detangling. And once I feel satisfied with that, I may add more, but if I don't, I'll wipe my hands because it is a little slippy, slippery to hold the brush while detangling. And then applying the cream is a hit and miss. Sometimes you get a good amount and you don't need more, but other times you feel like you missed a good portion of the hair and you just have to add more later. I detangle right after to the side, but then eventually I detangle backwards because there's always a chance of finding tangles while you're brushing a different way than where you have been. Always take breaks when dealing with long curly hair because your arms are getting a good workout. And then three pumps of the Inner Sense Stronghold Gel. And I try to do the whole pray hands on it, but I also like to scrunch it in as well. Not really caring about it being too defined. I just want the hold. I'm trying to minimize frizz. So then we bring out the Aussie Volume Gel. Just enough. Play around with it because it's like slime, but not really. It's gel. 
and scrunch that near the root area. I try not to get too close to the root where you're ultimately touching, touching the scalp. Not what I want anyway. So the front, very dry by now. Hydrate it with water. Detangle by doing prey hands because it's a bit of a small section that I'm working with and then brush it through and proceed with the cream a little bit, not too much. Pray hands as well. Then inner sense. Pray hands. And then I believe crunch as much as you can, but ultimately I am going to use the gel. Bone gel again to the root area. Scrunch that in. Then split this section into two. So what I have in my hand right now will be brushed backwards so ultimately it's three shock three sections at first but by the end it's four to brush backwards and try to get the clumpiness and definition and lack of frizz with this technique this process so that I can have good curls before my next wash day which is in three days so we'll see how that goes always brush backwards don't mind the frizz because we need to pay attention to the hairs around my face i use the pomade first and it's pretty thick and hard to pull out or get a good portion but i like to mix it between my hands then smear it against the hair just pulling it backwards you know just let it go backwards i tend to like my hair behind my ear not in front of my face I, sometimes i do but not always but i just want a smooth look i have a brush for edges but i just use it as a regular brush bristle brush to just brush down the hairs in the front now I, I will admit I have attempted to try to find the edges and try to edge lay them down I watched at least five videos on how to do so and I feel like they have more baby hairs than I do or that I believe I have only a little small portion of it and I just, they have more than I do. Oh, I kind of feel like my baby hairs are too long to be considered baby hairs, but yet they're so cute when they curl out and just look frizzy, frizzy mess. Anywho, as you can tell, I'm not paying much attention to the front section since I still don't know what to do with that. But I bring out the Cantu edge control and smooth that over the pomade that's already there because I'm, I tested both out. Pomade doesn't last as long as the Cantu edge control, so I like to lay down the pomade first and then the Cantu edge control to seal in that pomade with the edge, edge control. And try but not succeed in making some type of wave and I was I, I'm brushing my head so hard with this bristle brush that it's a bit difficult to even do that my face is getting a little red in that area now it's time to blow dry a good five minutes of blow dry I'm really ultimately paying attention to the root area I want that to be dry compared to the rest because we're now heading into spring I'm not gonna freeze myself off but it's still slightly cold, but not as freezing cold in Arizona to where I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna go to bed with partial wet hair. But yeah, I do want some volume. So I'm gonna make it very 80s looking and pin that up with a hair clip. Then the next morning, I do what I need to do, you know, wake up, brush my teeth, um, yawn a couple times, 
put some sunscreen on, and then undo my hair and get ready for the morning. This is beautiful. I like, I love the volume that I gave myself. And I like to just let it lay where it wants to lay, but I ultimately like to have my part on the left side. I don't want it to be shown too much, just that there's, there's a side part, you know? And that's it, that's all I want. But this is it, doesn't it look pretty? Nice and voluminous, kind of, in the front at least. And defined, yeah? Don't you think? I think so. At least defined, not too much of frizz, but eventually there will be. So like and subscribe, and as always, embrace joy. <laughs>